Hi, crafty friends. You guys, I love Dollar Tree scarves because we can use them for fabric-ish kind of projects. But this one, we're going to do a beehive. Like the bee skips, you know, that are like the all um, the natural. Well, I thought, let's make a patriotic one. And these um, scarves are perfect for that. Sorry, words again today. So what I'm doing is I'm taking off the lip of that um, flower pot from Dollar Tree because we don't want that part on there. And then I cut a, a styrofoam ball in half for the top part of the skep. Now, the nice thing about this is with the foam, we can shape it. So I'm just kind of using my knife here, just shape it so that it's a little bit taller, but that there's not that overhang with where the pot is. I know I just said a lot of words. Did that make any sense? Oh gosh, I hope it did. All right, so what we're gonna do is we are going to start with um, the rope here and we're gonna put on our first layer. And then I'm gonna take these um, scarves and I'm just gonna tear them. Um, I ended up tearing it in four different sections because we are gonna alternate those in between that rope. So we'll start with the red one and then there's that one that's kind of got more of a white background and then we'll do the blue and then we'll just alternate those all the way up to the tippy top of this. And you guys, as I was doing this, I was like, man, maybe I shouldn't have cut these as, th or you know, torn these as thin as I did. Maybe I needed them a little bit thicker. But then as I started working higher up and didn't need as much of this, I'm glad that I kept it how I did because I think if the fabric would have been thicker just because the rope is, I was trying to keep it around that same size. Um, I think it would have looked a little bit odd as we got to the top, but look how cute this is coming along. So once you get a, um, right here where the styrofoam is, just keep going, just that same thing, no worries about it. And since we're doing so many, um, cuts because we're doing one layer at a time i made sure that all of my um, pieces lined up so we could just kind of face that towards the back uh, i thought that would be um, a cleaner look than if we just were willy-nilly putting it all over there so i decided to do a little bit of a handle at the top of this so just cut some rope and then just kind of made a little bit of, of a hole at the top and just kind of hot glued that into place and then i'll just keep going along now for the little hole part of it, I took a piece of the rope and I pulled it apart. Um, and then I took a piece of wire and just kind of made the round shape to it. And then I'm just going to, you can see I've got some masking tape just kind of holding it together, but then I'm just gonna wrap it uh, with a piece from that rope so that the rope is the same color, but it would have been too bulky if I would have not taken the pieces apart. So just kind of um, did a little hot glue as I went, that way it would kind of stay really good. And then I have that scrap piece of fabric from um, another project. And I'm just gonna hot glue this on just for like our little hole opening. I thought having a different color piece of fabric as opposed to the um, scarves would make it kind of pop a little bit, but it's in that same family of colors. And you guys, I'm obsessed with this. I think this is just adorable. I love patriotic decor. All right, friends, thanks so much for watching and don't forget to follow for more.